Hello everyone, this is Ninja Girl Sakuban here, back with my Life is Strange Before the Storm Alternate Choices Let's Play. Last time, we literally just started Episode 1, Awake. We went through the whole Firewalk concert stuff, which was fun. We got to see Rachel, of course. But now it's the next morning. We had a little conversation with Joyce, in which, because it's Alternate Choices Playthrough, David I had to be a bit of a bitch to her. I and I feel bad know. about it. I really do. But hey, I did not do that in my original playthrough, so there you go. But right now we gotta get David's keys and bring them to him, because he's gotta take us to school. Dad's old swear jar. We spent the last of his curses on bus fare and milk. Aw. Uh, yeah. Almost wish I could slip Mom cash. If I had any cash to slip. Yeah, that's telling you, hey, you know that money you spent on weed? You could have given it to Joyce, which would have been nicer. But no. Shoot. Because I'm bad. I David could get a job on a container ship. To Japan. <laughs> Good one. Alright, I think last video I looked at everything in here. So I guess we have to move on. But I'm, I'm having fun playing through this again, because it's been so long. No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. Yeah. Get going. Yeah, I guess so. What happens now if we look at stuff? It's not that I'm ungrateful. It's just that when your mom works in a diner, you're not always in the mood for diner-type food. I fair enough. But that bacon looks delicious. What is she cooking in that pan? Is that hash browns? Either way, it looks great. I would totally eat that. I wouldn't care. I can't take any more arguing today. Go get Yeah, the yeah. Beans. We already looked at the slow cooker. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I looked at everything, right? I didn't miss anything. Oh. Hey, is this Chloe? This is Steph. Hey. I have your DVD. You can get it before school. Thanks. Okay. Is that all? I guess so. Yeah, we can't go into that side of the garage. We can't go back upstairs either, I don't think. Alright. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I didn't Mom miss anything Mom said David here. is driving me to school. Ugh. I actually have to let this jack-off drive me to school? This is my life now? Kill me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chloe. Looks like it. Okay. Moving on. The Raven. I remember they showed off the Raven a lot in trailers. What a piece of crap. The car, too. <laughs> Good one. I heard what you did there. <laughs> Why do you women always take forever to get ready? Excuse We're me? hoping you men will leave without us. Sheesh, David. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. Repeatedly. <laughs> God, I can't believe how much he's changed in Life is Strange 2 when we see him. No. Spoilers, sorry. No wonder your mother's worried about you. Oh, that's sweet. When I was your age, I got into my share of scraps. But it's not responsible. You owe it to your mother to do better. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. Electro insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites Did you not hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. What is this? Quality time? Ugh. Better Where's the socket wrench set again? All I see in the garage is family stuff. You Not know. your stuff. Not your stuff. Dick around on your own time. It's in the toolbox. Ow. In the garage. I don't think I got that my first time. My watch. I don't remember, but maybe I did. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to show off things I may have missed my first playthrough. Stuff that I found out about later. You know. Tiniest penis in all of Arcadia Bay. 
Yeah, if you couldn't tell, this game is not for kids. Just saying. <laughs> What's David doing? Leaving stuff in our garage anyway. Does he think he's moving in or something? Well... Maybe. <laughs> this was the photo Mom took down from the living room. Aww. Guess we don't have room for it and David's mustache. Aww. Their wedding photo. Uh-oh. Mom's been cleaning again. Ugh. The camera! Dad's old camera. <laughs> Do they even make film for these anymore? Yep. That I remember finding. That's the camera that she gives to Max in episode one. Which is cool. Yeah. The stereo used to be in Dad's workshop. I should hook it up in my room before garbage day gets it first. Yeah, I think that is a stereo she has in her room. In the original. Should fill this with gasoline just in case David's car ever catches on fire. <laughs> Good one. Lawnmower. David's lawnmower. Maybe Mom and I like our lawn the way it is. Ever think of that? Oh boy. Yeah, there's the area we see in the original, but we can't go to it. Oh well. Dad's toolbox. He used to get so excited whenever anything sprung a leak or busted. Aww. Yeah. William. Do these have chapters on hotwiring your mom's boyfriend's car so you can drive it off a cliff? Asking for a friend. <laughs> okay. By toolbox, did David mean this? Or did he mean himself? <laughs> Chloe, the sass, I love it. Okay. Now this I know I missed. Uh-uh. Oh, do I have to... I forget how you do this. Do I have to take it I'm first? I'm supposed to get David his stupid... There's his stupid socket wrench set. <sighs> Let's get the shit show over with. I guess I have to? 50-50 chance I smash him in the face with this. 60-40. Maybe 90-10. Heh. <laughs> Chloe. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now watch. If it's in my garage, it gets my special treatment. What message does David <laughs> really need to hear? <laughs> okay. Got it. Perfect. <laughs> That's very Chloe style. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, YouTube, don't ban me for that. It's just a joke. I swear. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, he'll love seeing that next time he opens his toolbox, huh? <laughs> okay. Anything else we can do around here before we go? Nah. School's hardly worth walking to. Eh. Yeah, well, let me explore the neighborhood. And yeah, the house is still half painted. They were gonna paint it blue. Then William passed away. Oh. So? You find the socket wrench set yet? You can do that one simple thing, can't you? Well, fuck you too. Mom should date literally anyone else. Eh. Alright, fine. A little Here. hustle wouldn't have killed you. You don't have to be a dick every time you talk to me, you know. It's not helping. Step douche. <laughs> See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits? Deposit. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. <laughs> All right. I mean, yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Did I give him the fist bump last time? I think I did. Leave him hanging. What the f- Hey! <laughs> how you do anything is how you do everything. Now I need a shot. <laughs> I forgot he does that anyway. Okay. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> We've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Ready to That's the kind of thing she hates. Please it's like he's talk. Please actively talk. purposely to trying to replace something. Fuck. We her don't father. have to like each other. But you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. Look. It's not a vacation, David. Her father was kind of taken away from her. You shouldn't call it a vacation. That's kind of... That's kind of shitty when you think about it. It's not a vacation she actually wanted or asked for. Okay. Last time I did the, the backtalk challenge... So I guess this time I have to ignore and endure. Mm hmm Joyce, your mother, she's hurting, Chloe. Hurting for you. You've had it rough, no doubt about it. But all this staying out late, ignoring her command, drinking, drug use, it's making everything harder for her. You need to shape up, get your act together. And put someone else first for a damn change. Am I making myself clear? Is it crazy if part of what David's saying makes sense to me? I mean, yeah, he's right. I guess. For Joyce's sake, Chloe should shape up. But, yeah, it's... It's still not his place. You know? I think I said got it last time, so I'll say nothing. You don't know how lucky you are to have a mother like Joyce. She's an amazing woman. Coddles you, it's true. But it's only because she loves you. Problem is, you don't learn discipline that way. Give me one chance to show her how things could be, and you'll be singing a different tune. Mark my words. You're, you're not her father, though. And you're not her stepfather at this point, either. You're her mother's boyfriend, so she kinda doesn't have any obligation to listen to you. Just saying. I mean, I like David because he really showed how much he does care in episode... Dad was it episode 5? Yeah, episode 5 the original. It really showed how much he does care about Chloe and Joyce and all that. that he saved Max. But, yeah. At this point, he shouldn't be so hard on her just yet. What a beautiful day. I know he's trying to help, but still. He's going about it the wrong way. This... this isn't right. Yeah, see? This is a dream, but she's fearing that Dave is going to replace her father. She doesn't want that. She's afraid of her dad being forgotten. By her mother. She feels like she's the only one trying to keep his memory alive. I think that's what it is. I know what a spark plug does, jerkwad. Heh. <laughs> I know, Chloe. I know. Is there more to look at here? If mom were here, she'd tell him to turn that junk off. Yeah, I think I looked at everything. There's some stuff you can miss in these sections. 
so I'm trying not to miss anything. I don't think I did. All right. Dad, turn it up. Aw. Picking up my lover from the grocery store. Yeah. Remember, she was not there for the crash. She wasn't. She was at home with Max. So she's just kind of picturing what it must have been like in her mind. It just, yeah. She can't let it go. I mean, I understand. The hell? It's your dad. Out of the car, Chloe. You're gonna be late. Uh, I thanked him last time, so whatever. Whatever. You're welcome. Oh, goody. Hello, Black, Black Hell. hell. <laughs> I was just gonna say that. <laughs> Good luck, seniors. Yay. I forget if Max was a senior. I think she was. I'm pretty sure she was. At this point, Chloe would be... She's a year older than Max, so would she be... Hey, Chloe. Oh, hey, Elliot. Wait, what happened to your face? Oh, yeah. Do you need to go to the nurse <laughs> or something? What? Don't ask. Yes. You should see the other guy. Guess it's true, <laughs> then. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. People can eat a dick. Even social media haters can't ruin how awesome last night was. So, <laughs> how about the Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's oh, gonna sure. be lame, but I was thinking, do you want to go together tomorrow? Um. Sounds awful. No way. I'd rather have my eyes gouged out with rusted forks. Yeah, right. Me too, I guess. All right. See you in chem. Yeah, for sure. Obviously, he's into her. <laughs> but yeah, I'm trying to remember. Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. This takes place in... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a cool trick. Um, this takes place like, yeah, three years before the original, right? So 2010. Chloe wouldn't be a freshman though. She's gotta be like a sophomore or a junior at this point. Oh well, I don't know for sure. Nathan and tights. Can't see. Nathan. Well, I guess you can sympathize uh, with him a little well, bit. At least not for now. Sci-fi movie club. Warren and Brooke. <laughs> hey. Oh, wasn't Brooke the one who liked the uh, drones? And she did have a little crush on Warren. Oh, yeah. Makes sense. Oh. Picnic tables with Mikey. Okay, thanks. Thank you. The future needs excellence. Uh-huh. The future's an asshole. Not gonna find that here. Unless you're stuck up in bridge. 
Hi. I still hate this bitch. <laughs> oh, Carrie Price. Chloe. Oh, right. I'm just teasing. Sure you, you are. You've been taking me so seriously since I won the Beacon's Young Artist Award for my photography. Ugh. You don't say. Between that and the Vortex Club, it's hard to keep people from putting me up on a pedestal The Vortex or Club. Ugh. But you know all about that. Do we forget right about number? that? Am I right? Uh... Vortex Club? You hang with the Vortex Club? I mean, I'm technically not a member, but I am being courted. I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, you should become a be a collection of Blackwell elites, but instead, it's some anti-bullying, hand-holding kumbaya shit. Not when I'm a senior. <laughs> yeah, I know. Wait. What about Rachel Amber? Rachel posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. Do tell. Uh. <laughs> it was a pretty normal night for us. A little music, a little dancing. We murdered a guy. <laughs> <laughs> you are so funny. Oh, seriously, though. I didn't realize you and Rachel were such BFFs. We're really not. Uh, so, what's she into? You know, what's her thing? Is it drugs? I'm not judging or anything. I figure if she's hanging out with you, she must be into some effed up shit. <laughs> you know? Uh, Seriously, I don't know why you're talking to me about Rachel. Yeah, really. That was kind of insulting. Oh, everybody loves her. Little Miss Perfect. So you're jealous of Rachel yeah. Amber. That's what's happening right now. Yeah, and she's trying gotcha. to fish for information oh, God, to use against I her. I don't have time for this. I see right through I that shit. I finish the chemistry assignment and you're being you. Oh. <laughs> God, I hate her. But yeah, she is totally fishing for information to use against Rachel. Because she wants the title of most popular girl in school. Bitch. I see right through you. You are so fake. It's unbelievable. Ah, sorry. If you heard that, I'd pump my mic. <laughs> but I seriously hate her. I see right through you. You're a bitch. We're sabotaging I'm your homework. Sorry, part. Victoria. I didn't mean to be rude. You know, I finished the assignment. Want some help? You? Help me? Of course. <laughs> that last problem was hard, right? If I'm remembering correctly, the answer was fluorine, uranium, carbon, potassium, and uh, <laughs> uranium again. Does that sound right? Perfect. I apologize if I did this last time, hey. but I hate her. Thanks, Carrie. No. It's Chloe. Fake ass bitch. God, everything about that woman is fake. Personality, her talent, everything. Well, maybe not her talent. Even Max said her pictures are pretty good. But everything else. Samantha Myers, school wallflower. She could give you a run for your money, Max. <laughs> Aw. Hi. Hey, Chloe. How are you? Hey, Samantha. What are you reading? Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? I read that last year in Mrs. Hoyda's English class. I didn't think you did homework. <laughs> Normally I don't, but the play was actually good. What did you like about it? Uh... Dad? The story is about how relationships only work if people are willing to lie to each other. I'm not sure if you're joking. Sorry, I'm a little slow sometimes. It's okay. I'm a little bitchy sometimes, so it's cool. Yeah, totally. People always say that. But I think you're actually... Sorry, Chloe. No one says anything like that. I don't know what I'm actually talking about. Oh, dear. I bet. <laughs> She's nice, though. She's actually nice. She's cool. Oh. Hey, Justin. Damn, girl. What's up, dude? I look sick. What's going on? Uh, crazy house party, Last dude. Night, I scoped out this crazy party <laughs> at the old mill up north. Kind of a DIY thing. 
Wow, no shit. I thought that place was like Math Central. My cousin met this hooker there. Whatever. And uh, it was cool, okay? PMI? You wouldn't understand. Uh, Rachel? Hey, out of the blue question, what do you think of Rachel Amber? She is amazing. Uh, if you're into chicks that are hot, smart, and hot. <laughs> I mean, she helped me out a while back. I was failing algebra hard. <laughs> I believe you. Check it. After I was Obama never good at term last fall, general. She tutored me for the rest of the semester. And then I crushed it. C plus. <laughs> All right. Guess I'll see you in class. Word. See you later. I can tell Justin's wearing his eau de gange. <laughs> that was... Yeah, that's just Evan over there, right? Yeah. I thought there was more people to talk to. Oh, hey, it's you, yeah. I remember you. Hi! You're pretty cool, too. Skip Matthews, Blackwell's finest. He's not so bad for a mall cop. No. Hi. Hey, Skip. What's up? Stopped any gang wars lately? Not today. Oof. Looks like you did, though. <laughs> huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah. The black eye. Right. Whatever. I did ask Justin Williams' mom to move her Mercedes out of handicap parking. That ass. Yeah, <laughs> you know how I roll. Uh. Firewalk show. So, I went to the mill last night. Cut Firewalk live. You went to the mill? Wait, you saw a firewalk? It was cool. Hella cool. Oh, pretty wicked. I didn't know you were into music like that. Good music? What? Like good music? <laughs> Preach it, sister. <laughs> I'm in a band, actually. No shit. Cool. Really? We're called Pisshead. It's not a big deal or anything. I mean, I mean, I'm trying to get our demo out there, but it's hard. Pisshead, huh? Oh, I can understand. Did <laughs> you maybe want to hear it? Our demo, I, I mean. Oh, uh. Huh, I'm probably gonna get another claim for this. Oh, brother. I got like no joke three on the last video. All right. Yeah. Okay. Great. Screw it. As long as it doesn't block the video worldwide. I like it. I definitely dig it. Okay. I don't want to listen so, to it any longer than I need what did to. You think? Just to be safe. Uh, really good. Really good, dude. That was really good, man. If Pisshead came on the radio, I'd turn that shit up. <laughs> oh, right on. Awesome, Chloe. Thanks. You're welcome. Yeah, I would have let it play longer, but... Maybe that'll help prevent the uh, YouTube bots from picking up on the sound. Hello, Miss Grant. Morning, Miss Grant. Chloe, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Hmm. What do you think of this hypothesis? That you'll be in your seat by the time chemistry class begins today. Oh, sure. I, I will be. Uh, I don't want to ruin the mystery. Science though. is all about discovery, Miss Grant. Guess you'll have to wait and see. <laughs> With all the change that's happening at Blackwell of late, I suppose I can appreciate your consistent wit, Chloe. <laughs> what kind of change do you mean? Well, the Prescotts have made an extremely generous donation to the school, which is good, but instead of going to support more science and mathematics, it's all being dedicated to the arts. Uh huh. You which leads to Jefferson money should be spent here. in the arts. It's not that exactly. I recently made the case that STEM programs should receive more support, but apparently our new donors disagree with me. 
Such is life, I suppose. Miss Grant actually seems sad. Aw. Things will turn around. Maybe in another six months, a new donor will come along with money for, I don't know, more lasers. More lasers? <laughs> Do we have any lasers? Sadly? No. no. That is sad. Aw. I'll see you in class. Right, Chloe? Yeah, we'll see you there. Hi. Hi. Oh, you pushed me out of the way. I prefer to wake and bake, but hey. Yeah, <laughs> wake and bake. Each their own. Although those eggs look really good, and so does that sausage and pancakes. Mm -mm. Not gonna lie. But fire's so pretty. Actually, it can be very cool. I mean... No, Chloe. Not Flash setting things on fire, of course, but you know. I do like the element of fire. Would I play with it? No. Oh. We can sit and think. I should probably be getting to class, but I just don't care. Did last night really happen? The internet says it did, but I still can't believe it. Rachel Amber. The drama star, honor student, popular princess of Blackwell. Swoops in like a Batman to save my ass and thrash to firewalk? Either that was a dream or real life just got a shit ton crazier. <laughs> yeah, it's a second. It's gonna get crazier still when Max comes back. Is that all she says? Alright. Uh oh. It's the man. Principal Wells. Hey. Stay cool, Chloe. You've got a marijuana flavored bag of expulsion in your pocket. Eek. Shit. <laughs> Chloe Price. Is that a black eye? Uh. <laughs> no, yeah. of course not. Not I hope at all. You know that Blackwell provides confidential counseling services for all our students. We uh. are a safe space for any issue. I'm right. good. It's the other guy who needed a safe space. From me. <laughs> you never fail to conform to your reputation, do you? Miss Price, the sign clearly says do not walk on the stage. Such disregard for your fellow students' efforts won't alleviate your record of major infractions. Uh... How about minor one? How many minor infractions and a major one? This is no joke, Miss Price. Who's joking? You've seen my math grades. Perhaps you will find me less amusing if I mention the various allegations I've been hearing about your oh, drug use. No. You know Blackwell has a zero tolerance policy. <laughs> and yet if my olfactory sense does not fail me, I'd say you've recently been exposed to marijuana smoke. Shit. Uh, Do I have to initiate a search of your person in order to establish the veracity of these allegations, Miss Price? Um. That's what I thought. I'll look forward to seeing you in my office after school today. How does that sound? Ah. Uh, I did the talk back challenge last time. Fine. All right, sir. I'll see you after school. I'll count the minutes. That guy's a tool. Yeah, definitely. Worse than a tool. Damn. <laughs> I would have done the backlog challenge, but I believe I did it last time. <laughs> And we're gonna do it again. Oh wait, that's just a normal cigarette, I think. 
Never mind. Students at Blackwell have this herd instinct to glom up into little groups like sheep. And if you just want to be alone, you get labeled like some dangerous outsider. <laughs> just like any other prison. Except now the prison follows you wherever you go, thanks to social media. You're not I can't wrong. I believe Rachel posted a photo of the two of us together last night. Am I still an outsider if I'm hanging out with Rachel Amber now? And what does it mean that hanging out was so awesome? Does that make me just the same as every other student here? Nah, fuck that. <laughs> nah, you still stand out. You're your own person, Chloe. It just means you had fun with someone. You made a friend. Or something more. <laughs> okay, is that all? Yeah. Anything else? Ooh. Do I dare go back Still up here? To be <laughs> here? Still don't really care. Ha 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 ha. I'm on the stage. You can't stop me. Ha ha. What you gonna do now, Wells? Need my DVD from Steph. I bet she's nerding it up with Mikey somewhere. <laughs> Probably. Also, hello? What's with all the papers on the ground? Are there... Are there are all those flyers for the Tempest, maybe? Maybe that's what they are. Can't even tell. But they're everywhere. Sheesh. Wonder if new dialogue opened up with, uh, him. Chloe! What's the latest? Yes, it did. Alright. Guess I'll see you in class. Word. Aw! Thought something did. Oh well. I tried. Oh, Evan, hi. Chloe, I'd like to talk to you about wildfire awareness and prevention. Good morning to you too, Evan. According to the Department of Forestry, over 90% of this season's fires were caused by humans. That's a record high and completely preventable. Uh why are you doing this? This is for college, right? I don't believe you actually care about this. My interest in fire prevention is completely sincere. Besides, I intend to get into college on the strength of my photography alone. Do you think Rachel Amber would be willing to pose for my portfolio? She's so artistic. I bet she would be a dream model. What do you think? Uh... I guess. Who says we should prevent fire? <laughs> fire is awesome. While I realize you're being purposefully obstructive, you raise a good point. Many parts of our local ecosystem benefit from fire. Knob cone pine cones, for example, which require temperatures above 350 degrees to open. Hmm. Say knob cone again. <laughs> no. I gotta run. Wait, one last thing. Will you sign my petition to have a fire safety assembly at school? Can't tell whose names are on. I signed it last time. I'll sign it again, but I'll sign sure. it with a joke. I love assemblies. Some of the best naps of my life. Wow, thanks. I did not see that coming. You being, you know, interested in complicated issues, helping out with the public. Do you want me to change my mind? Yeah, really. I... No. Good. Shut up. How seriously am I taking this <laughs> right now? Evans. <laughs> We're going with that. Support such an important cause. Evans and Ask Cloud. Academy. Home of tomorrow's leaders. Oh, okay. There it is. Uh. Oh. Thanks so much for signing my petition. 
he's gonna go, what the hell? An ass clown. Aww. <laughs> uh, that was too good to resist. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was too good. It was too easy. You're back. Why do I keep talking to you? I've got shit to do. Aw. Really? I thought there was more we could do with him. Oh well. What's worse, a poser who cares about issues or no one caring at all? Eh. Can we go there? No, Chloe. Class that was the way to the, the door, right? And yes, it was. I know. Oh, camera. <laughs> Hi. Steph Gingrich and Mikey North. Blackwell's premiere indoor kids. Steph has created something of a business selling pirated DVDs to other students. <laughs> Hi. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. Uh, try me. Give me a break, nerds. I've heard of tabletop games. Cool. Got my DVD. One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. Blade Runner. <laughs> Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream Never seen Blade Runner. Life. That's my motto. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? Uh... We're not friends. Yet. I don't know what you heard but Rachel and I barely know each other. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, you should join our game. Yeah, I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. <laughs> We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? Uh, last time I did. Some other time. Not really in the mood. Maybe later. You know where to find us. Oh, so I can technically we check. Next stop, chemistry class. Joy. So I, I could join in later Ready if I wanted to. To begin your adventure. Just in time to. Mikey was about to seriously die a horrible and painful death. Uh, not a chance. Yeah, still no. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm i pretty sure I did the tabletop game last time, so I'm going to ignore it this time around. Let's see. I think I'll just go up to the building, right? Yeah. What's this? Heaven's work is actually pretty good. I'd never tell him that, of course. Huh. All right. This makes being high sound like a bad thing. Yeah. Cause normally it is anyway. What the Ow. Hey. What have Hi, you got Nathan. Here? Twitch. Don't call me that. True North. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh, Guess wow. so. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back. I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Ow. Uh. Take it elsewhere. Take this elsewhere, guys. The mute speaks. Hey. Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Oh, wow. Dick move, Nathan. Yeah, that my goes. Dad lost his job that's going a little too far. When your dad closed it down, and you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. You know something, Prescott? 
I'm gonna do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. Okay, now I distinctly you remember. Piece of shit. I am going Stop to it. kill you. Last time you I failed the talkback challenge. Chloe, do something. So this time I'm gonna try to save. I'm just stand there watching. Right. Step in. The only way to stop Let's try and get it right this time. I've got to put Drew down. Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? Uh, idiot. Idiot? You're not used to a word that big, are you? Don't be scared. Hehe. <laughs> You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? How about picking on someone your own size? Which I hear is pretty small. Oh! You're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. Uh... You know what's crazy? What's crazy is that you haven't been held back yet. How is that possible? You want a piece of this? Please. Kicking your <laughs> ass is going to be a piece of cake. <laughs> Did you just laugh? I did. Chloe just owned you. Shut the Thanks. fuck up, fresh meat. Hey. You shut the fuck up. There you go. Go, Samantha. Atta girl. Guess you got lucky this time, Prescott. Had two girls show up to save you. Take your pervy picture book. Are you okay? You think I need help? From you? You're welcome. Are you alright? Thanks for sticking up for him. People think just because of his family. Yeah. Everything okay here? <laughs> no problem, Skip. Yeah, we're alright. Thanks. Uh-oh. I don't like how we left things with Popcorn and I. Perfect. Is that a sarcastic perfect? No. <laughs> okay. Now, is there anything else I miss out here besides, obviously, tabletop game? Oh, I wonder if uh, Samantha will have anything new to say. Where is she? It was by a tree, wasn't she? If I'm late to class, that's just one more excuse for mom to sit. I guess on maybe me. she left. Cause class, I did see her go in the building. So, all right. Huh. That pick would actually make a sweet tattoo. I mean, I guess. Huh. <laughs> Tempest. All right. Maybe if I delay going inside long enough, Blackwell will be overrun by future excellence. And by future excellence, I mean mole people. Ha! All right, we gotta go. Oh, good. You're here. Uh, hi, Rachel. <laughs> I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father, I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda. Indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time have listened to... Many a time, the harmony of their tongues Hath I listened to you? Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton, sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Honestly, it's a cool costume. Awesome. 
This is getting <laughs> I saw that wink. last night. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. And that's where I can. <laughs> the question is... Are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What Ooh. do you think? Well... Me, I'm a hopeless romantic. And I love cute love stories. <clears throat> Inuyasha and Kagome, Sora and Kairi. <clears throat> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. But... It's more Chloe's style to say. Miranda's an idiot because falling in love is stupid. <laughs> what is she? 12? Actually, oh, wow. she's is... about 15. So your point, whoever you are, about being an idiot oh, or 15, being naive okay. is well taken. I haven't read The Tempest, so Thanks, I wasn't Mr. sure. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. Your eye looks fabulous. Where'd you get it done? <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> I'm just kidding. That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big yeah. deal. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just be a minute. Okay. Okay. So, why am I here again? Oh, you kind of got dragged in. Me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, y yeah. Sure. <laughs> After we okay. explore a bit. Uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit and don't, like, fall down. <laughs> Should be doable, right? <laughs> She's so nervous. Kind of adorable. Sweet collar, Pepe. <laughs> Should be life is drama. Or life is strange. Get it? But I'm. <laughs> If I'd known acting meant getting to play with weapons, I totally would have auditioned for the uh, the Tempest. <laughs> I guess the Prescott donation doesn't cover this. Pencil fun. Really? You would think the school would automatically kinda have that kind of nonsense. Hey now. Sharing is caring. I forgot Steph was the stage manager. What's on the computer? I have feelings about this. Most of them are not good feelings. <laughs> Why do theater kids take themselves so seriously? Yeah. And Nathan Prescott is Caliban. Dana! Yeah, Max meets her. I remember right, she's the one who thought she might be pregnant. If you look at her uh, trash in her dorm room, if I remember right, I think that's her. Juliet! Yes, Juliet Watson, I remember her. She's the one who, um, who thought her boyfriend was sexting. Uh, who thought Dana was sexing her boyfriend? If I remember correctly. <laughs> How do I remember these things? Oh yeah, because I really love Life is Strange. And I do miss it. This poster definitely says... <sighs> something. I really do hope... We get a Life is Strange 3. I just... I would love another story with Max and Chloe... After, you know, the first game. We have the comments for that, which I haven't been keeping up with. But, ah. Uh, like, a new game with them would be great. But I know Don't Not Have Said, we're moving on from them. Hence, 
that's why Life is Strange 2 has a whole new cast. Which I understand. I I get it. But I do miss them. R.A. will suck as Prospera. If V.C. had any <laughs> talent, maybe she would have gotten the part. If Victoria Chase talent. had any talent, she would have gotten the part. Is that what got Mr. K to cast you, slut? Guess they don't call Ooh. it Drama Lab for nothing. Cat fight! Wow. <laughs> what to say? What to say? Good question. Slut shaming? <laughs> Slut shaming is so 2009. VC should know. Oh! Good one. Now. I can't even leave the room, right? I can't, like, go explore the school. Chloe, my pants get lonely without my belt. <laughs> we'll be right there, Rachel. Just give me a second. Is there anything else I can look at? I don't think so. I think that's everything in here. That's the nicest backpack I've seen in my life. Hmm. It is nice. Small, though. Rachel looks so happy here. Aww. Oh, yeah. I remember that now. That is cute. Aww. There's Rachel's belt. Guess I'll go give this to Rachel now. That's... the... Nicest backpack I've seen in my life. Okay. I'm pretty sure I looked at everything. Shakespeare is my homeboy. Oh my god. Should be life is drama. Again, it should be life is strange. Ha ha ha. Oh yeah. Rachel Amber. Drama star and guardian angel. I still can't believe that was her last night. I can. <laughs> Halo for Rachel. There we go. Save my life. Get some ink. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta turn up the heat. Ooh. I'm gonna guess it's from Logan. Yeah. Yeah, he was the one who apparently cheated on her. Oh. Oh, somebody wrote break a leg. I see it now. See? Uh, Rachel, is this your belt? That's yes. a benefit of having an, uh, an <laughs> HD you. capture card. I can look at my TV through an HD filter now. Because again, I had the the way my old capture card was. I just had it hooked up through an SD filter, basically. HDMI converter. But now, I don't need one. Ah, ha, ha. Anyway, last time I think I threw the belt over, so we'll bring it to her. Uh, that was a cool costume, I Rachel. I really liked your costume. Thanks. So, did you bring flowers for my dressing room? <laughs> uh, I'll owe you. Uh, <laughs> I guess I owe you. <laughs> I'll hold you to that. Thanks, I guess. I'll let you finish changing now. Chloe Price. Rachel Amber? 
<laughs> Last night was amazing. Oh yeah, Firewalk was pretty good. <laughs> I I'd never seen Firewalk live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To oh, totally. Truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. <laughs> but then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Uh, maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't uh, have to end. Exactly. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? I think last time I said... Did I say fuck yes? Even if I did. Say it again. Fuck yes. I was born to ditch. I hoped you'd say that. Now about that eye. That is a hell of a battle scar. <laughs> Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? Great idea. Yes. Please. People won't shut up about it. <laughs> Makeup does work magic. You know how to use it properly. Hold still. This is a lot of makeup. I'll bet it's ten. That's the price of valor. Close your eyes. Much better. Now you can't see it. Holy shit. Works like magic. Let's get the hell out of here. Hell yes. You sure you don't want to just grab the bus, or...? Nope. If we're gonna go rogue, we're doing it right. Yeah, the bus is too easy. <laughs> well? What the hell am I getting into here? You're having fun. Whew! That was close. <laughs> Where does this thing go? North? Maybe we'll end up in Seattle. Pull up a chair, Price. The view's amazing. Actually, yeah. Rachel wants me to pull up a chair. Maybe one of these crates. Huh. Guess we're not the first ones to hop on this train. Oh yeah. I wonder what the symbols mean. They're hitchhiking symbols, aren't they? Whoa, Nathan's dad is a Terminator? That... totally checks out. Yeah, I guess it does. I feel pretty confident there's going to be a dead body in here. Huh. Let's see, I think there was another graffiti thing. There's my chair. Aha! Is it on this side? Things heavier than it looks. Yeah. Guess I should sit down. Not yet, not yet. I see humans, but no humanity. Everybody is somebody, but no one wants to be themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Some preachy graffiti up in this train. Yet, it's not entirely wrong. <laughs> okay. As somebody who likes to watch House MD, we're gonna go with everybody lies. <laughs> everybody lies. I like that. <laughs> if you've never seen that show, it's really good.
But I think most people have by now. It's old. But it's great. It's like the only, I guess you could call it a drama show I watch, I guess. I was supposed and I don't to really watch it that often. Last year. Now I'm living it. But I enjoy it. One. Twain. Zero. <laughs> okay. Is there anything else to look at in here? I'm pretty sure there isn't. I think we're good. Oh, besides Rachel herself. It's just another typical day skipping school with Rachel Amber. Alright, sit. Alright, Chloe. You're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. Yeah, play it cool, Chloe. Is this nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here so I could ask. No. Should I make small talk? Is that what people do? Yeah. Uh. Nice weather. It's nice Rachel we're having. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean weather. It's nice weather. <laughs> it sure is. That was adorable. <laughs> so, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. Gee, you, you think? Mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends. Oh, friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name was Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. Aww. That sucks. You didn't want to leave. Hey, so... I want to say thanks. For pulling you out of school? No, dummy. Thanks for last night. Ah. Uh, if you hadn't shown up... Yeah, it could have been really bad. in Arcadia Bay. I owe you. That's for sure. Is that why you came along? Are you suggesting I should need a reason to ditch school? Yeah, really. Like, we need a reason? I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. <laughs> well... I wanted some company. That's it? That's it. Okay. Uh... Gonna need more than that, though. Try again. I'm going to need more to go on than that. Joy rides with me aren't fun. Joy rides to where again? Life needs a little mystery, Chloe. <laughs> I guess. Let's do something fun. Ooh. There we Big go. Your has been punched, Rachel. I'm sorry. Aww. Denied. Too far. <laughs> well. I don't know. <laughs> okay, something fun. I'm all ears. Two truths and a lie. Two what? truths and a lie, I okay. I think we should play Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, and one of which is a lie. A lie. Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. Eh. Uh... Sure. Sounds fun. You're on. I know I did this last time, but it's fun. Cute. Okay. Bring I'll it start. on. First, I'm ambidextrous. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway, to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Out of those choices, Greece. Kathmandu? One day, I'm going to climb Everest. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. <laughs> What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. <laughs> okay. So, ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. So, 
Which is the lie? I think New York. You seem more like a Cali girl to me. Damn, Price, not bad. Long Beach, in fact. West Coast is the best coast. I've only ever lived in Oregon, so nothing to compare it to, I guess. Then we'll have to change that one day, won't we? <laughs> okay, your turn, Price. Yeah, I've never Respect. been close to California right. either. <laughs> Something about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. Lie. Uh. I'm in a band. I'm secretly the lead guitarist of an all-girl Misfits cover band called the Misfits. Impressive. <laughs> I love science. Seriously, I think Neil deGrasse. We'll do two lives. Huh? Because I played it right last time. Sad to say this, since you're a Leo and all, but I'm allergic to cats. Are you now? I swear. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. <laughs> uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. Anyway, I think I have your number. Do you? Okay. You say you love science, but you are failing chemistry. You're saying failing chemistry means I hate science? Or that Blackwell doesn't inspire your best work. Blackwell's a hellhole. That place is a hellhole filled with shit, where shitty people go to be shitty to each other and themselves. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel, though. Anyway, school sucks, but you love science. I'm gonna say true. Good job. Which brings me to your alleged cat allergy. Alleged? I'm calling lie. Why is that? I mean, maybe you're allergic, but I've passed by your locker a few times, and I've seen that old photo of a cat you keep in there. Ah, she knew. His name was Bongo. Smart. He was a gift from my dad. Good eye. Did he pass away? Yeah. Mm -hmm. My dad died two years ago. I thought everyone knew that. I meant Bongo. Oh my god, of course, that's what you meant. I'm so sorry. Hey, that's okay. Awkward moment of the year. <laughs> Definitely. So, let's talk about this lead guitarist business. The business of show. <laughs> as much as I'd love to be a groupie to your all-girl cover band, The Misfits. I'm gonna have to call lie on that one. Dang. She's good. You don't think I can you rock, don't though? Think I can rock. Come on. On the contrary, you absolutely rock. Well, thank the you. The problem <laughs> is, your hand is smooth. No calluses. You don't play guitar. Ah, thank you. She's you right. Were caught on stage. So, if my math is correct, you cheated. You told one truth and two lies. <laughs> Maybe I just needed to test you. Or maybe you have trust issues. You are crazy good at this game. Yeah, a <laughs> she is. A of studying the human condition. I'm impressed. Well, I'm impressed. Miss Samper. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I'm gonna feel good about that one. <laughs> when your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is something you're used to. Oh, seriously? Yeah. Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket, then. Not that I have a right of my own. Car first. Embarrassing number of moving violations second. <laughs> hey, thanks for trusting me. Sure. Trusting you? You played the game. I guess. 
You opened up a lot. That's all. Aww. It's not a big deal. Hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. Yeah, I can understand that. <laughs> I trust you, though. I'm just not really into touchy-feely shit. But I feel like I can trust you. Yeah? I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. Hmm. wouldn't mind listening to some music. I would! Copyright! <laughs> oh. Hey. Share with her. Wanna listen? I'll play a few seconds, but then I better get it off. Because <laughs> I don't want the video block real wide to music. Okay, yeah. I just- I can't take the chance. So only a few seconds. I apologize. It's just- Cool bracelet. I'm not I monetized it, at the I moment, guess. but I don't want the video blocked. Since I was a kid in Long either. Beach. It reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach. Or anywhere but here. Maybe sooner than later. Hear you. <laughs> Me too. Arcadia Bay can suck a bag of dicks. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Don't be surprised, Chloe. If one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Check it out! We're here! What? Where is here? Jump and find out! Did you say jump? Jump! Last time I jumped. No way! No way! Scared? That's not the Chloe Price I know. Trust me, this is the only Chloe Price there- huh. <laughs> She drags her off. <laughs> I forgot that. The last time I, I remember, I just- YOLO. I jumped. <laughs> Nice park. Ooh, I like those flowers. The purple ones. <laughs> hey, it's actually a pretty nice view. Glad yeah, you Yeah, it is. And as your reward for making it up here, I have a new game for us to play. Another one? I like games. Deal with it. This is one I learned in theater class. It's all about improvisation. Uh... I don't act. I know all the world's a stage and shit, but I'm not an actor. Really? I see you acting like you're tough all the time in school. I... That... Damn it. <laughs> this game involves spying on people from afar. Luckily, we got some high-tech surveillance equipment right here. Let's fire it up. Sure.
broken. Lame. That blows. Well, shit. And it ate her quarter. That was my last quarter. You? Quarterless. Damn. Hey, maybe I can MacGyver something up. I've been told I'm pretty handy. Oh, yeah? Let's see what you got. <laughs> okay. Rachel really wants to use this viewfinder. I'd love to get it working for her. Okay, let's check the text. There it is. What happened with Drew? People were saying you were awesome? Oh, yo, let's talk later. Okay. <laughs> oh. My brother's not always an asshole. Just most of the time? Forget it. Ouch. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I'd say this is a good place to stop. So, yeah. I guess next time we'll MacGyver up something to look in the viewfinder. But yeah, in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, share it around. If you want to follow me on Twitter or support the channel on Patreon, both links will be in the description as they usually are. But yeah, next time, more time with Rachel. So that should be fun. Till then, see you later.